वेलकम टू सुबर मनी आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एसेट एलोकेशन एंड दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एसेट एलोकेशन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सम स्मॉल चेंजेस दैट आई हैम आई हैव मेड इन माई पोर्टफोलियो एंड सिंस आई एम नॉट हेयर टू गिव एडवाइस आई कैन ओनली टेल यू वॉट आई हैव डन एंड वॉट आई थिंक इज रेलिवेंट फॉर अ फ्यू ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स फॉर होम ऑल्सो आई हैव सजेस्टेड दिस एंड सम ऑफ दम हैव लिसन सम ऑफ दम हैव नॉट इट इज अप टू यू एंड so the first thing that i uh, kept looking at is the uh, asset allocation ratio the way people ask you to invest and say okay your age uh, should be in bonds so if you are 30 years of age 30% should be in bonds and if you are 90 years of age 90% should be in bonds no here the assumption is there are only two asset classes uh one is equity one is debt and uh, equity in the long run will give you better return than debt so therefore largely for a retiree a 60 40 where uh, you could afford a 40% in uh, equity at the age of 60 so that uh, the 60% gives you stability and the 40% gives you some little bit of um, extra return to combat with the inflation so i was uh, seeing the portfolio of few of my friends who are in the not in the uh, not the middle class so let's say the minimum portfolio size that i would have looked at would be something like 2 million us dollars about 15 crore 16 crore uh, 16 crore indian rupees now here what i had suggested and what uh, many of them have done is to have something like 50% or uh, 40% in equity about 30% in debt and uh, which includes a little higher risk debt because uh, you want slightly higher return so instead i said uh, make it 20% in good quality debt or 25% in good quality debt that leaves you with 65% already invested and that leaves you with another 35% of chunk where you can choose to have lot of other things what are the other things the other things are very illiquid uh, very profitable lumpy investments which is high risk so it could be a venture capital funding now you can't do venture capital funding with a 1 crore of rupees or 2 crore of rupees i mean there is no such uh, thing available so you can go to some venture capitalist and say okay here uh, i will put 1 crore in your aif and you go ahead and do it right so it could be venture capital it could be private equity private equity there is no cap a friend of yours a kid uh, somebody who's about who started off on his own and he's 5 years old 7 years old in the business he says uh, uncle 5 years later i'm going to go public do you want to take some private equity uh, he is not yet gone to the venture capital so you say okay i i trust this boy he's my son's friend he's my daughter's friend he's my student anybody like that and so you put some money there so it could be venture capital it could be private equity it could be uh, something like real estate you could buy some real estate and hope to get some rent right now the odds are terribly against you but you never know if interest rates start going up and rents start going up and then uh, real estate may start going up and that time that uh, that might kick in so it could be real estate it could be reit it could be invit it could be a global reit there is no reason why it should not be a global reit and when i'm talking about equities largely we have the home bias so when i say equity i mean indian equity so this 40% or 35% that extra that you have could have foreign uh, equity could have foreign debt there is currently one uh, fund available which is international debt i have invested in that so i have invested in an international reit i have invested in an international world gold mining fund i have some uh, little bit of gold uh, sips going on uh, which is not doing too great i have some sgbs right so that 35% can be filled up with a lot of small things which is like miscellaneous and you use it to uh, combat inflation you use it to combat uh, the rupee dollar risk because anyway 70% or 65% of your uh, assets are in rupees so in the others you take a little bit of when you buy gold you're hedging your uh, rupee dollar right because when the dollar uh, gets stronger or the rupee gets weaker your uh, gold prices will go up so a little element of gold a little element of maybe silver i have not touched silver so far uh, international reits uh, world gold fund um, world agriculture fund world mining fund lots of things are available 
in my case in 2012 or 2013 one fund manager said i think us looks very good so i put some money in uh, the us funds it's done very well touchwood in spite of the recent uh, not doing well by fang uh, it has definitely done well for me in the long run now what happens is when people ask me in the public forum should we invest in an index fund and said is yes why would i ever say don't invest in an index fund but can you get better returns by not investing in index fund yes can you get inferior returns by investing in an index fund <coughs> well sorry uh, if you are if you're going to invest like the average investor you are going to get returns like the average investor then don't feel bad that you're getting returns like the average investor it's not bad because if you want money you, you, let's say you have 100 rupees you want 12% return you are getting 12% on your portfolio then what is there to crib about somebody else getting 14 18 22 uh, uh, 72 it doesn't matter you are getting your but if you can't do that and if you want to keep comparing a, a that's wrong but that's your choice right uh, but these kind of um, the tips or these kind of ideas uh, will not come to you if you sit at home and say oh i will uh, invest only in an index fine that's that's fine but then you cannot come around and say oh i didn't know i could put money in a in a metal fund or in a <coughs> in a gold fund or a gold mining company there is a gold mining company in india <coughs> sorry Uh, if you know i have been uh, delaying the videos because of my cough and it's still not gone <coughs> what i uh, i am what you also have to remember is this 35% is not insignificant 30 35% of your portfolio is not ins- insignificant and if you have invested in things like private equity venture capital etc it is extremely liquid especially at a time when you wanted it is illiquid second you should know that when some kid is investing asking you to invest you put a cap also on how much returns you want suppose i put uh, money at 10 rupees and after 3 years that kid comes to me and says uh, i uncle i want to buy you out at 20 i should be very happy to give it away i should not say what is a new guy coming in uh, giving you a sequoia is coming into your company at 200 rupees why are you offering me only 20 it's not relevant right it is unfair so you should know how to invest in venture capital when you're putting money with somebody in a in their startup you're doing to help them so in 3 years if your money doubles it means you've got 24% return if your money is lost it's lost you knew it would get lost so you put only 50 lakhs you put only 1 crore so it's okay but <clears throat> then don't get greedy so first of all have an agreement saying i will buy it you will buy it back from me at the price of rupees 20 in 2000 and let's say this is 2022 so in 2025 or at worst in 2026 <clears throat> or at a price at least so much or say if you can't afford that at least at 10 rupees or something like that but don't say uh, you will have to buy me out at the same price as a new venture capitalist who is coming or a agent or a vc who is funding you at 200 bucks suppose a new guy is coming in at 200 bucks why do you expect to get 200 for it so be be very clear as to what you want from those investments and also understand that it is very illiquid same thing for private equity don't get into fight with these people the other thing you can do which uh, i find some of my friends doing is to say i will do a very uh, expensive debt i'll give you money on which you pay me 8% interest but the minute you get funding from outside that's the rate of interest will go up from 8% to 15% so whatever period for which you paid me 8% you'll also pay me another 7% compensate and repay my loan so this can be something like that like i said it can be gold it can be metal it can be reed it can be international reed it can be international it can be i uh, i've invested today in japan i've invested today in uh, asia x japan i've invested in europe europe is in uh, pretty badly i've invested in us us is done well so you know all these kind of things make up the other 35% and be ready for pretty bad liquidity uh this was not part of your index strategy so if you are in an index uh, fund i do not know how that 60 and 35 60 and uh, or rather 40 and 35 works for you 40 and 25 works for you and how this other 35 works for you but <coughs> just being 70 30 or 60 40 or uh, 50 50 
आई थिंक इस पास से सेवेंटी ईयर्स बैक और एटी ईयर्स बैक दिस काइंड ऑफ थियोरीज बैक गुड एसेट एलोकेशन वॉज बींग डन दैट वे बट टूडे देर आर बेटर क्वालिटी असेट्स अवेलेबल अ लिटिल हायर रिस्क परहैप्स फॉर मी द रिमेनिंग थर्टी फाइव परसेंट इज देयर विल गो आउट ऑफ द विंडो इन अनदर टेन ईयर्स टाइम वेन आई एक्सपेक्ट माई ब्रेन टू बी लेस केपेबल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो एट दैट स्टेज आई मे कन्वर्ट ऑल दैट इन टू एन एनुटी अनलेस माई डॉटर इज विलिंग टू मैनेज इट फॉर मी बिकॉज इट बिकम स मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड पोर्टफोलियो सो दिस इज अ गुड पोर्टफोलियो फॉर समबडी हु इज अबाउट फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज टिल देर एज ऑफ से सेवेंटी फाइव एंड देन कन्वर्टिंग ऑल दैट इन टू सम काइंड ऑफ एन एनुटी और सम काइंड ऑफ बैंक फिक्स डिपॉजिट्स और थिंग्स लाइक दैट लेस कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लेस वारी सम एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली मोर लिक्विड राइट नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी लिक्विड पोर्टफोलियो आई मीन वॉट आई पुट इन वेंचर कैपिटल आई डोंट थिंक आई एम गोट टू सी इट फॉर अदर फाइव ईयर्स एट लीस्ट टू ईयर्स अर पास वॉट आई पुट इन प्राइवेट इक्विटी आई नो इन अ कंट्री वेयर पब्लिक इक्विटी इज नॉट सो लिक्विड प्राइवेट इक्विटी इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी वेरी लिक्विड बट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीज थिंग्स विल हैपन and these things are complications so as time goes by in your portfolio you have to reduce complications improve simplicity and improve returns that's the combination that you have to do initially you can complicate but then you have to keep reducing the complexity thank you